If you need to cut a circle and a four center bit isn't an option, the general circle cutter might just be your best bet. Every once in a while, I find myself in need of making a circle, I need to drill a circle. And such is the case with these Bluetooth uh, speaker boxes. The small one is a two inch, so I was able to use a two inch Forstner bit. But the larger one is a three inch hole, and I don't have a three inch uh, Forstner bit. And I don't have a circle cutting jig. So what did I do? Well, I did have a wing cutter, so I used my wing cutter to cut this. So I thought today Vince and I'd talk about wing cutters and how they work and how to set them up and such. So take it away, Vince. All right, Dennis. Yeah, wing cutters, that's what uh, I call them too, but I think technically they're called circle cutters. We have three different ones in the Woodsmith store that are made by General Tools. And they all work the same way, but the difference really is just in the capacity. So this one here will do up to a four inch diameter circle this one up to six inch, and this one, this is the heavy duty model that I think you have. Right. And that uh, tops out at like seven and seven eighths, I believe. Yeah, I believe it is, yeah. yeah. So anyways, they work uh, all the same manner. They have a, a drill bit and you line that up with the center point of your hole. And then at the other end, there's a cutter here that's mounted to a beam and you can move that beam in or out to change the diameter of the hole that you wanna make. So I thought maybe we'd go over to the drill press and show them how to set one of these up and how to cut a, a large circle or a large hole. Yep, sounds good. All right. So we're here at the drill press. I've secured a backer board to the base with a couple of clamps. I have my workpiece. I have a three inch hole drawn. I have my workpiece secured with a couple of clamps to the base and the backer board. You definitely want to make sure everything's tightened down. You don't want this coming loose while you're cutting. I've set my cut wing cutter to a three inch diameter, but I always make a test cut. I don't assume that three inches is three inches here. So I always make a test cut. One thing I'd want to point out is, is that you want to make sure that you tighten that setting with that Allen wrench, you want to make sure that's good and solid. You don't want that vibrating loose while you're cutting. You'll notice that the cutter is a, about a quarter of an inch higher than the bottom of the drill bit. The reason for that is, is you want that drill bit to enter the wood before the cutter does. I've turned the speed down to the slowest setting on the drill press. They recommend no higher than 500 RPMs a minute. Also, keep your hands away. This thing is going to spin and you don't want to get hit. So with all that, I think we're ready to make a cut. So let's just give this a try. And there's why you make a test cut. The diameter slightly off. It appears I'm not quite centered on the hole. The workpiece must have moved slightly during the clamp up. I'd need to adjust the diameter of the cutter, reposition the workpiece, and make another test cut. It's oversized, but as you can see here, that circle cutter will cut a nice clean hole. So that's how you cut a hole using a wing cutter. What do you think, Vince? Well, it did a really nice job. There's hardly any chip out at all on that hole. It does a very nice job. Yeah. You know, one thing I forgot to mention earlier uh, making a hole is, is one thing, but sometimes you want to make a wheel or a disc. And this is the piece that came out of that hole. And you can see the edge is, is beveled all around. So obviously, you know, if you're making wheels, for, say for a toy or right. something, that's not going to work. But one of these cutters, the number six, it has a, a reversible cutter on it. You can just flip that around and that'll give you a nice square edge on the edge of the wheel. Oh, that'd board. be handy. Yeah, it, it is. Well, I hope we've given you some useful information on wing cutters. What we used today was the number 55. That's what I have in my shop, but any of these will do a fine job for you. For more information today on any of those circle cutters or to pick one up today, click on the links below and get to cutting. And to receive weekly videos like this one, 
Sign up for our free eNote video tips by going to thewitsmithstore.com. When you do, you'll receive $25 in online gift certificates as a bonus. And just so you don't miss anything, be sure to subscribe to our Woodsmith Store YouTube channel. There you go, Vince.